You're trying to get back on you, Dean. I got you. Three things, simple. Habibti, listen, it's not rocket science. The one issue people struggle with when it comes to salah is having khushu in their salah. And this is one thing that helps me concentrate in salah. To start with, go make your wudu. It doesn't matter if you've kept wudu from the morning, no. Even if you have wudu, please go ahead and make wudu. Trust me, there's a reason I'm stressing on this. It's just one of the blessings of making wudu. Every time you make wudu, your mind subconsciously puts on this salah mode. Now I challenge you to compare your two salah, one where you prayed with, you already kept wudu, and another one where you're doing wudu, like proper wudu, and then praying. You go compare those two salah and tell me which one do you feel like you've connected with your prayer mode. The second thing, and I'm talking to the sisters now, I know you obsess over things. Find yourself a sheikh whose voice you're obsessed with. Find yourself a sheikh you love listening to that has a beautiful recitation. And the kind of person I am, I can't listen to another sheikh. I only have one sheikh I always listen to. Like sure, if I come across a Quran recitation, I'll sit down and listen. But there's always that one sheikh that will move my heart every time I listen to his recitation. And that's Salah Bukhatir. So go find that sheikh. And every time you're reading Quran, just put your airport or something on. I Trust me. You'll fall in love with the Qur'an. I'm not even joking. You'll fall in love with the Qur'an. Get that one sheikh. First thing was salah. Second thing was Qur'an. Third thing, adhkar. Your morning and evening adhkar. Now let me convince you why. Would a soldier go into battle without his bulletproof vest? No. Would you go out into the snow or the cold without your coat? No. In the world you're living in, there are some people that make money off of doing black magic on people. In the world you're living in, we're not the only creatures that live here. Also, jinns and shayateen roam around. There another, there's another world we're exposed to that we just can't see. Allah Azza wa has veiled us from, but there are other creation of Allah roaming around. So you're walking around without your bulletproof vest, without your coat. So every time you read your adhkar, you have that protection, that bulletproof vest or coat. Think of it that way. So yeah, three things. Wudu. Even if you have your wudu, please go make wudu. Two, find that one sheikh you religiously listen to. Three, your adhkar.